The morning of March 1st, 1954 came like just any other to the Marshall Islands of the Pacific Ocean. The residents quietly went about their business. Meanwhile, the crew of the Japanese fishing boat, Lucky Dragon 5, had left port and now were tuna fishing 100 miles to the east of a set of Marshall Islands named the Bikini Atoll. The Bikini Atoll had been taken over by the U.S. military in 1946. As part of a nuclear testing program, the residents were relocated and a base built at the site. Early in the morning of March 1st, technicians were preparing for another weapons test coded Castle Bravo. Scientific instruments were ready. Aircraft were prepared to take air samples. Observation towers were opened and their high-speed cameras were loaded. Castle Bravo was the first hydrogen bomb small enough to be carried by an aircraft. Scientists had calculated that the bomb, fueled with a lithium-6 isotope, would create about a 6 megaton explosion. Because lithium-6 was hard to separate from lithium-7, however, the bomb actually had more lithium-7 than 6. This didn't worry the scientists because their calculations showed that the lithium-7 would be inert. The base was evacuated, and at 6.45 a.m. the firing crew, safe in their bunker, pushed the button. The enormous heat of the detonation instantly scorched everything it could burn. A few seconds later, a tremendous shock wave, traveling at the speed of sound, arrived tearing trees and buildings apart. The crew of the Lucky Dragon was amazed when suddenly a second sunrise appeared in the western sky. Scientists monitoring the test quickly realized that something was wrong. The lithium-7 hadn't been inert. The explosion wasn't 6 megatons, but 15, 250% of the expected size. Because of the miscalculation, the fallout from Castle Bravo test was far more than anticipated. The firing team was trapped in their bunker by high radiation. Two populated atolls to the east were belatedly evacuated. Not expecting to have to move people, they was forced to press destroyers, originally sent for security reasons, in the service. The islanders suffered many health problems for decades, including birth defects. The crew of the Lucky Dragon touched fallout material with their bare hands and suffered nausea, headaches, and burns. Within six months, the ship's radio man had died of radiation poisoning, the first fatality of Castle Bravo. The base near the test site was ruined, and many of the instruments designed to measure the explosion were destroyed. The miscalculation of Castle Bravo was the biggest nuclear contamination accident in the history of the United States. The fallout was detected as far away as Australia, India, Japan, and North America. What happened at Castle Bravo led to an international call for a ban on the atmospheric testing of thermonuclear devices. All because of a miscalculation. <laughs> 